This is part one of the story about how we went from a D-Max to an old Land Cruiser featuring eight weeks of remote outback roads. All this happens later, so let's ignore it for now and start at the beginning. For six months before the trip, we planned our route, made modifications, and performed routine maintenance to both D-Max and T-Van. With help, of course. Lots of help. Then there was the packing for eight weeks of remote travel. We also said goodbye to our old dog Jack during these last few weeks. We left a day late as my granddad needed to attend an appointment on the day we were scheduled to leave. A minor setback that we were happy to deal with. After all, it's not the worst that could happen, right? We finally got away and our first campsite was near Marvel Lock where we set up and waited for my parents to catch up once they'd settled Grandad back in at his nursing home after his appointment. With the new dawn, and all of us together, we set off on our fabulous adventure, secure in the knowledge that all was going well. Anyway, it's all good, and we camped at All Hands Well near Laberton. The next day we stopped at Giles Breakaway for Smoko, and then again further on to photograph the grass trees. Lunch was had at the turn-off onto the David Carnegie Road, the first of several remote tracks we would tackle on this trip. The drive to Breedon Bluff was uneventful and we enjoyed a walk around the bluff before setting off to find firewood and a camping spot. I also mastered the new shower tent that all the reviews said was only possible to erect with two people. The next morning we continued on our way on the David Carnegie Road to Empress Springs. Dad and I went down the ladder, Mum and Alan's knees raised a petition to not take part, so they sat up top and laughed at us trying to work out how to use Mum's camera. 
Should have put on a stringflation. Yeah. We cruised along happily in the afternoon and thoroughly enjoyed this track. It's not well used, but it was easy to follow and we didn't see another car. We camped at the top of a hill about three quarters along the way. Next episode we continue along the tracks and it rains. Something's wrong. And I don't